Hi and welcome to the 2018 paper 2. This is the Levisir order level, question 8. So as usual I suggest you pause the video and have a go yourself. There's multiple parts to question 8. It's a large, you know, 50 mark question. Not as much as question 7 but still a lot of marks. Okay, one, what, one six to the paper. Um, the diagram shows a section of a garden divided into three parts. In the diagram you have the length of PR mark 3.3. So that's that there, that's got a good understanding of what's going on. PQ is this here, 6.5. Now I know this is a right angle triangle, so that's the hypotenuse of that small triangle there. That's right angled. Okay. Uh, QT is, okay, so QT is from here to here. And uh, looks like it's a part of a sector or whatever. So QT is 8. You're told that QS is 8. Okay. QRP is 90, the 90 degree angle there. PQR is called alpha, and then the angle RQS is called beta. Now, before we go any further, okay, you have, now you have one massive triangle there, okay, you have a right angle triangle here, you have a non right angle triangle here, and you have what looks like a sector of a circle, something like an arc, whatever, and that would make more sense because they're both the same, so they'd both be the radius. A lot going on here, it's a confusing diagram, okay, so, you know, parse it up. Uh, part A says, use the theorem of Pythagoras, to find RQ. Now, let's be very careful. RQ is this here. Let's just call it X right now for clarity. So you're focused on that triangle. If you want to draw, draw out that triangle, okay, now that's supposed to be a triangle. And this is your 3.3, let's go this way. Um, and that's your 6.5, and that's your right angle. Okay. Pythagoras' theorem states that the hypotenuse, so this side squared, is equal to the sum of the other two squares, sorry, sides squared. I'll go to the answer here as I've done out. So I have PQ squared is equal to, now RQ is this side here, RQ squared, and RP squared. So this is not a standard one because usually we're looking for the hypotenuse and we have the other two sides. In this case, we have the hypotenuse, we don't have the RQ side, we're looking for that, that's our unknown, and we have our 3.3, okay? So we're looking to solve for this term here. So to do that, I'm bringing the 3.3 squared across. Now, in the going across the equal, it changes from being added to being subtracted. At the same time, I'm going to bring across this square on this RQ. And it square roots everything on the far side. Now, remember, the 3.3 has moved, so it squares all of that. Now, the reason I'm doing that is I can now put it all in the calculator, go straight to the answer. Okay. And I come up with uh, RQ equals 5.6. And the units there are meters. Okay, so I now know that that's 5.6. Now, this part B here says show that. So they're telling you the answer here. The answer, they're saying this is 31 degrees. Prove it. Okay, so the simplest way here is to go, well, that's right angle triangle. So the, t the sine of that angle will give you opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, um, could do that. Okay. Uh, cause of that angle is given by the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so 5.6 over 6.5. Or you could go with tan, tan of that angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. Okay, now I went with tan, could have gone with the other two, it's fine. And tan of an angle equals opposite over adjacent, that's equivalent to 3.3 over divided by 5.6. I want to find out the inverse tan of that so I can find the angle. So the angle is equal to the inverse tan of that number. Put to the calculator, I came up with 30.51, rounded to the nearest degree, was 31 degrees. Okay, I remember that, so that's now is 31, whatever. So part C here, okay, it says, use the value of alpha given in part B. So whatever you found in, in part B, okay, actually, sorry, whatever you found here, we, if you found something different, it would be wrong. You have to use 31, okay? So beta is equal to 180, take away 31. And that gives you the answer of 149. We subtract them. So that, that's 31 there. The whole thing is 180. So 180, take away 31, gives you the other angle uh, that you're missing. Now part D here says, use the cosine rule to find the length of RS. Okay. Now I've put the diagram in here. Okay, actually I realize I, I went straight to the answer here. And the 
the triangle I'm looking for here, use the cosine root to find the length of RS. So that's RS there. Now I've put in this A, B, and C here just to highlight that. Okay. So we're trying to find that side. Pythagoras won't work because it's non right angled. Sine cos tan won't work because it's non right angled. So the only rules left are sine rule and cosine rule in order to find something. They're telling you to use the cosine rule. So that kind of helps things out. So I went to the math tables, found the cosine rule. Okay. Uh, it's in the trigonometry section. And I'm then going to put the numbers in. So I've labeled this A, B, and C. So the cosine rule works when you have the angle and the two sides around it, they can be used to find the side opposite it. Okay, so 5.6 is one side, 8 is the other. So minus 2 times B, B times C is minus 2 times 5.6 times 8 times cos 149, which is the angle here. Now, I can put that straight to the calculator. I would suggest you do, okay? Uh, but make sure you've written out all the numbers written here. So if you do go wrong between here and here, you'll still get, like, you, you could, yeah, the, the mark is equal to the 11 marks. Fully correct substitution of correct formula. Now, we're going to try to solve it out, okay? So we have that number. Gonna not forget that the, this is a squared. So the square moves across the equal and squares everything on the far side. Put that number to the calculator, and I got 13 pi 121. The nearest meter was 13 meters. Okay. So that's question eight, part D. Now question eight, part E here. We're told that SQT is a sector of a circle whose center is Q. Okay, we look back at our diagram. So that's SQT is a sector of a circle. So you see there is, now it doesn't look like it, but that's eight and eight. This is just stretched, okay? Uh, there um, will be the same as the radius of that circle. So it's like you have a circle like that, and, and Act there, whatever. So to find the length of that's the same thing as the circumference. So the formula for circumference of a circle is in your math tables. I'm going to adapt it here. We're multiplying our full circle by the fraction that's taken up. Now we need to know the angle there. If I look back at my diagram, okay, that's that angle there. Now those angles there are opposite, so they're equal. So that's 31 there. Okay, so that segment of the full circle, that was a full circle there. Okay, you're just looking for the length of that arc of that part of it there. And then in part, yeah, the next part, F, whatever it is, you're looking for the area of that, that slice. Now let's go and just do it. Okay, so go straight to the answer. So the length of the arc, TS, is equal to the angle divided by 360 multiplied by the circumference, or length. Put the numbers in, so the angle is 31, the radius is 8. Put it to your calculator, I got 4.3284. And round that to one decimal place, the 2 here doesn't affect the number next to it, after it. This number stays the same. Now part F says find the area of the sector SQT, so the exact same sector, the same angle, but the, using the area formula now. The area formula is pi r squared, it's given to you in the math tables. And you have your size of your, of your slot of pi is 31 degrees out 360 times pi times 8 squared. Put through your calculator, okay, and I got 17.31. Round out to one decimal place, it's 17.3. Fairly well answered. Fairly, you know, fairly, if you know your stuff in trigonometry, it should be okay. Now, that's question 8. Okay, so thank you, and see you on question 9.